Okay. Paul Semester. Paul's done a lot of, uh, I think, very interesting things in his career. He joined Edison Price in 1982 as the director of metrology. And that was after working 17 years for electrical testing laboratories and two years as a director of engineering for McPhilbin Lighting. Again, I want to emphasize that he started as an employee with Edison Price in 1982, but he began consulting with Mr. Edison Price in 1964. Paul did a lot of neat things in his long and successful career. He's from a different generation, a generation that was creative and always found a way to get things done. One example is that Paul created his own photometer from a 400 gallon drum. He did calculations which landed Edison Price their first million dollar job, the GSA building in Baltimore. He designed a fluorescent luminaire that was first used in the US Post Office in Philadelphia and became specified nationwide. As a result, even today, many post offices in the U.S. have the Edison Price fixture as its design spread across the entire postal service. He has a patent on the first LED lighting fixture for Edison Price in 2010, and this patent was issued for an LED array with a unique heat sink that had a spring element and an insulative isolation member. Paul has been married to his wife, Esperanza, for 54 years. Please welcome Paul Semester. Please 
come and help me. I'm going to lose my business. A very smart, proud individual, but he was high headed. And I always loved to work with him, and I worked with him until the day he died. I started working in the island industry at a time when uh, the measuring of life was done on a bench, stool, a photo, uh, a photo cell, and calibrated lamp source. They were combined to make deep measurements. Throughout the years, we've been able to uh, create all the equipment, the digital equipment, that we can calibrate. There was no electronic equipment. It was so uh, on a, uh, actually it was a, a, a electrical meter with a needle that would display. Or you have to do measurements by eye. One of the photometers where you measure the, the distance of the light source and the, uh, the position uh, as you had it set up and then you'll be able to come up with a number which today we have all the instrumentation. I've been able to experience the equipment that has been developed. Of course you have the uh, electronic instrumentation. At that time there was no electronic instrumentation. And we have to do all our measurements just by placing the light source, measuring the distance. And as a matter of fact, we used this system when they had the first space capsule. I had to do calibration for the, the agency that was setting up the, the space capsule in order that they'd be able to triangulate and measure the distance as they travel toward the moon. I've been very uh, uh, fortunate to be able to have work in the industry. And you can imagine what would happen today as we have the, uh, you can imagine as we, we have today uh, measurement are now being done by means of instrumentation, computers, and we have the LED sources. This is something I've been able to experience and been able to have a part in the industry. Thank you for having chosen me for this position. All I have done is do my work and enjoy it. Thank you all.